so happy you joined me today. I'm children's author Phoebe Fox. Today I'm going to share with you a little book called From Chewing to Pooing, Food's Journey Through Your Body to the Potty. This was written by Lauren Geringer with Dr. Natalie Geringer and the illustrations are by Mamie McCarthy. happens to food when you're done chewing? Though you can't see it, digestion's been brewing. Digestion is what your body must do to get fuel from food. The rest becomes poo. It started by chewing your very first bite, teeth grinding it down to a size that's just right. With help from saliva, wet stuff in your mouth, food's sent down your throat and keeps sliding south. Into the stomach is where it goes next. Here your tummy's juices are put to the test. Food's turned into liquid at this stage of digestion, then moves from the stomach to your small intestine. Your small intestine's a coiled up tube where nutrients are pulled from the liquefied food. Nutrients give your body its fuel to play, think, and grow, an important life tool. What's left is garbage, no reason to keep. A tube called your colon gives it a sweep. Inside your colon, down in your belly, the garbage turns solid, brown and quite smelly. That garbage is poo. It comes out of your body when you're in the bathroom, sitting on the potty. Poo won't go away until you go potty and keeping it in is not good for your body. If you feel the urge, give pooing a try. When poo needs to exit, don't keep it inside. After all this, the food's fully digested, the work done by your body while you played and rested. Each time you eat, this all gets repeated. It takes a whole day till the work is completed. Digestion is such an amazing thing, keeping you ready for all that life brings. The end. Here is a liver, the esophagus, the stomach, the gallbladder, the colon, and the small intestine. Well, I hope you learned a lot about digestion. The next time you take a bite of an apple, you'll know what happens to it. See you next time.